I'm excited to announce that I'm partnering with Tan Books. They are one of the largest Catholic publishers out there, so I'm so happy to be working with them. So any of their products, you can get 15% off if you use the promo code, The Joy of the Faith. I would highly recommend it. First of all, they have so many of the classics, so that's great. They have a lot of audiobooks as well. So I'm gonna go into a couple that I would highly recommend from Lent, because Lent is just a week away. Can't believe that, can you? One thing I was so amazed to see is that 95% of their books are made in America and the other 5% are made in India. So it's really cool to see that because when you look at many books, most of them are published in China. So I was really happy to see that and uh, glad to support in that way. They have a lot of options. And the nice thing about all three of these books is they have an MP3 download where you can listen to them be read to you. So that's helpful to following along or if you just wanna listen to them. The first book I wanna recommend is The Imitation of Christ. I read this on my silent retreat just a few months ago and this was amazing. It was like the book was written for me. It was unbelievable. I mean, just such a great book. And Hallow is actually doing a uh, reading of The Imitation of Christ with Jim Caviezel and Jonathan Rumi, who have both played Jesus. I plan to be joining on that with my wife. I think that's gonna be a lot of fun to go through that together with them narrating it. Um, but this is gonna be an amazing book if you haven't read it. You may not know this, it's the number two sold Christian book ever. And this is written uh, in several Christian magazines, but even the Tennessee Star wrote on this. So if it's the second most popular Christian book behind the Bible, you've got to read it. And Lent may be that time, so I'd highly recommend ordering that from Tan today, so it'll be here by Lent starting in just a week. The next book I wanna recommend is Story of a Soul by St. Therese. This book is what made St. Therese known throughout the world and loved throughout the world, right? This debatably made her a doctor of the church. By her writing this, it really opened up a new looking into holiness that we could become saints in the little things, right? The, the famous example of like picking up a paper clip for love of someone else, you know, picking up trash, tissues on the ground, anything, dishes, any task we do, we can offer it up to God. And St. Therese in the Story of a Soul goes into that and she talks about her own uh, challenges that she had to overcome. I made a video on it a couple of weeks ago. I'll link it up here. Uh, so you can check it out, but, and th that has quotes from her book there, but this is such a great book. It's, I, I was literally laughing at it. Uh, she's just such a funny writer and uh, just, it's, it's something that when you think of like, oh, a saint, you know, it's like so far from us, but she was, you know, just like, it's just like you're talking to me, you know, she was 24 when she died. So, you know, that's really amazing to reach that level of holiness. So I recommend if you haven't read that book and you're not reading An Invitation of Christ for Lent, do that one. Third book I'd recommend, it's only $6.95 right now, is The Secret of the Rosary. This book is so good. It's not that long, just 152 pages, and it's a small book, right? So these aren't massive pages. They're maybe, you know, a few inches by a few inches. So very small book, easy to read, has really engaging stories, and really changed the way I looked at the rosary. I was just so amazed by it, and is written by St. Louis de Montfort, the Marian saint. So he is amazing, and I would highly recommend you get this book if you haven't read it. Um, I don't know if you could read both Story of the Soul and The Secret of the Rosary in Lent. If you're a fast reader, maybe you can. Uh, same thing with Secret of the Rosary and The Imitation of Christ. Not sure if you can get both of those done in Lent, but I would recommend. I think Lent is a time where we really need to go deeper in the faith, right? Obviously, there's asceticism and giving things up for Lent, but it's really like the time where we can grow in our faith, right? Because once we go into the summer, things kind of dwindle down. Advent is not really that much of a time. So Lent is the time to do this. So I would recommend if you haven't read any of these three books, read The Imitation of Christ first, Story of a Soul second, and The Secret of the Rosary third. Uh, and there's many other recommendations I could make. I'll, I'll probably do one as we go into the summer or the fall, but this, these three are such great books. So I'd highly recommend them. And all three of these books I recommended have MP3 downloads. So you can download the audio and listen to them while you read it, or you can just listen to the audio I did that for Story of a Soul the first time, and I would recommend it. If you are a slow reader or you get easily distracted, it's helpful to, to move you through the book. So again, 15% off if you use the promo code, The Joy of the Faith. And I hope these books bring you to have an even greater Lent and bring you closer to Jesus, striving to be like him. Hope you have a blessed day, and God love you.